from from Europe and you know we got to the final in the European Cup Winners Cup final in Rotterdam against Barcelona and it was a terrific win for us to be out the competition for five years and to actually beat a team like Barcelona um, that was a great achievement by that squad of players because Barcelona proved that the next season when they went and they won the Champions League uh, so it, it proved what a good side they were um, so that set us up for the following season where we went on to win the league title for the first time in 26 years and I think once we achieved that the shackles came from around the neck and everybody started enjoying the football and and that's where I think that built the success of Manchester United over the last 20 years. All right, uh, now let's talk about Manchester United as we're talking about this team, uh, Brian. What makes the strength of uh, Man United? Uh, it's a very successful team in, Euro in Europe and in the whole world. So what makes the strength of Man United? Uh, I think uh, the structure of the football club, um, you know, with the medical staff, the fitness coaches, the commercial aspect, uh, you know, the whole club um, has grown together. Um, but you've got to have that real solid structure. Also, youth development, United have always done really well at bringing young players through and giving them an opportunity in the first team. Um, you know, and that's held them in good stead. Um, so I think that's the first thing. Next thing is you, you do have to have um, patient owners and patient directors so then the manager gets a chance to prove his worth which obviously Sir Alex Ferguson did. Um, you know, and I'm sure that David Moyes will get the same sort of patience where, you know, they'll give him time to actually try and be successful. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's all about the players. You, know, you can't be a good team if your players aren't good. Um, you know, and I, I think even so far this season, the Manchester United players have got to have a good look at themselves and say, hold on a minute, am I performing to my best of ability and I think there's quite a few of them are underperforming at this moment of time which is making it a little bit difficult for, for the manager. Uh, you know the only player I think who's played to, to where his potential is is Wayne, Rain, uh, Wayne Rooney. Um, you know and so the other players have got to look at themselves and say right we've got to help the manager out here and you know we're playing for Manchester United and we've got to be successful. So how do you see Manchester United doing uh, this year in the Premier League and in Champions League as well? I think they've given themselves a lot to do um, in the Premier League. Um, I can't see us sort of coming back and winning the title but I hope I'm wrong because <laughs> Manchester United have been great over the years of putting maybe his eight, nine, ten game run of winning every single game. Uh, you know, so hopefully they can do that again so then they can actually get up towards Arsenal and start competing with uh, the other teams as well. Um, but they've got to improve the own, their own performances at this moment in time because the performance haven't been good enough and that's why we're so far adrift at, at this moment in time. And uh, looking at the Premiership this year, so we have Liverpool, Arsenal doing that great. Uh, how do you see the, the, the competition so far? No, I, I think for whatever reason, I don't know whether it's because Pellegrini going into Manchester City, Mourinho going into Chelsea, David Moyes going into Manchester United. It, it's all been a, a change round, uh, you know, Martinez going into Everton. So there's only really Arsenal who've had that uh, settled situation with the manager and the squad. Um, I think he's added to his squad uh, very well, especially with Flamini because I think he just gives them a little bit of metal, which I think Arsenal were lacking. Um, and then some of the young players have, have just that, they've improved that little bit uh, this season. Uh, you know, so I just think the title could still go anywhere. And I if I had to put money on it, I, I still feel that it'll be Manchester City, Chelsea, who are going to be the ones to beat at this moment of time. And how do you see uh, the English teams uh, doing in the Champions League uh, this year, uh, this great tournament? Well, they've all got through into the last 16, uh, so that's good for the Premier League, it's good for English football. Uh, but I still think they've got a little bit to do to really compete with um, the top clubs. But I think Arsenal proved when they went to Borussia Dortmund and beat them 1-0 in their own backyard. Uh, you know, 
the English teams can beat anybody on a one-off occasion. Uh, and so I think we've got a fighting chance. You, you know, Chelsea are always really well organised in the Champions League with Mourinho, uh, always have been. So they'll be difficult to beat. Uh, I think Arsenal will keep improving all the time. Um, and then Manchester United, it, it, if the title looks as if it's going away from them, they know how important the Champions League is. The, the group of players will know how important it is. So uh, if they raise the game for these, these type of games, they can beat anybody. But uh, I still say, you know, Barcelona, Bayern Munich um, are probably the two teams to beat. All oh, right. So uh, as you've mentioned, uh, the uh, Bayern Munich and Barcelona, do you think the Germans can win it this year? Yes, I do. I think they're a real powerful team. I know they got beat off Manchester City only the other week, but uh, they're a good team. They've got some pace, power about them. Uh, they play some great football. Uh, you know, and they proved last year that they've got the ability to, to win the Champions League. Uh, you know, so I, I still feel that they're probably the team that anybody's going to have to beat if they want to win the Champions League. That's very good. Uh, now, Brian, let's talk about your experience with England. You've played for 90 caps and in three World Cups. Started in, with 82. In 82, you've scored the fastest goal which, with 27 seconds against France. Tell us about that, uh, that goal in, in that World Cup. Yeah, I mean, we started this interview, you know, just saying, w did you want to be a footballer and how did you achieve that? So to actually play for your country in a World Cup finals um, was a dream come true for myself. Um, and for any boy out there who, who achieves it. So to actually go in the first game in 1982 in Bilbao and uh, beat France 3-1, who were a very good team at that time, and to score after 27 seconds, uh, that was a great moment.